Back USA begins dismantling its facility on Buffalo's east side. The tablet maker's 77 employees are scrambling to find a new job. Most of those people are refugees and face an uphill battle to compete for work. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Slauson reports, one organization is ready to help. Back USA closing led to 77 lost jobs, many of them refugees. To have to find a new culture and a new employment opportunity might be a little bit difficult. Jewish Family Service of Buffalo and Erie County placed a few of the refugees at Back, which they said was a great company for them. Very good all around. Um, everybody was excited for Back, and they did seek out some refugees and hired some refugees to work for them. But with yesterday's closure, these refugees are now out of a job in a tough job market. So the competition between a refugee who has language barrier versus an American who doesn't have a language barrier is high. Back USA was a startup New York program. This offered businesses the chance to operate tax-free for 10 years. Unlike the Buffalo Billion, Startup New York partners with eligible universities so the full tax credit can be received. According to Back, they say the closure came in part due to White House tariffs that increased the cost of tablet components Back would import from China. This, Back believes, led to a decrease in profits that could not be recovered, something other companies nationally have dealt with. That has essentially uh, put Bach USA out of business. But for refugees without jobs, Jewish Family Service says they are ready to help them move forward to one of the 53 different employers they work with. We've been doing this for a while. We know what, what what to do and where to find the jobs. Um, they just have to come through the doors. In Buffalo, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.